New at 6, Columbus Metro Parks commissioners meet tomorrow to decide whether park rangers should be allowed to carry guns on duty. The Ohio Fraternal Order of Police says rangers need weapons to protect themselves and the public. In December, four people were cited for poaching in a metro park. It's evidence guns can make their way onto the nature trails, but as 10TV's Maureen Kozat shows us, commissioners argue park rangers are more like ambassadors and don't need to be armed. The Fraternal Order of Police, the union representing park rangers, says in the event of an active aggressor or an armed suspect, rangers currently have no means to protect themselves or the public. But Park Commissioner Jeff McNeely isn't sold on the idea. Law enforcement is not all about carrying a gun. Park rangers are commissioned law enforcement officers. It's legal for them to carry weapons, but McNeely argues there aren't enough incidents in the park to warrant it. Do we really have a problem out there that needs to be addressed in this matter? The answer is no. Rangers write about 40 tickets every year, mostly for alcohol, drugs, and public indecency. The park's deputy director says four poachers were cited last month, and a few years ago there was a shooting. At Sayota Audubon Park during the red, white, and boom 4th of July celebration. I, I'm empathetic to the Rangers. I, I, I'm out. I work. I, I want to go home at night just as much as they do. Metro Park's deputy director says in the case of a dangerous situation, park rangers are supposed to call outside law enforcement officers. The union argues that could take too long and put rangers at risk. Peck says the board is investigating the possibility of allowing rangers to carry non-lethal weapons, tasers or stun guns, but says no decisions have been made. Maureen Kosat, 10 TV News. Park commissioners say they are also considering hiring police officers to work special duty during large gatherings like Red, White and Boom.